I'm going to look quickly at some logs. So if you look at the D scale here, you can put the cursor on a number and read off the value on the L scale. And you notice the L scale uh, has been linearized. So the spacing between 0 and 0.1 is the same as between 0.1 and 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5. So this is a now a, a linear scale. And that's what happens with logarithms. So if we look at our first one, well, let, let me do the second one first. So log 2, whenever you have, uh, I think of it in terms of dB, or decibels, uh, since I work in, in engineering pretty regularly. So doubling something is usually equivalent to 3 dB, which is 3 times, or 10 times, log of that number. So if I do log 2, I'll move the cursor over to 2, and then read off the value on my scale up here. It's just a little bit past 0.3, and that's how I'd expect. So 10 times that would be 3 dB. If I do 4, move over to 4 here on my uh, D scale, read off the log scale, I'm just about 0.6, a little under 0.6. Um, 0, 1, or point six, a little bit under 0 0.602. And then moving over to uh, 8 on my D scale, and reading off my value, I'm about oh, 0 0.903 is what I would read that as. So about 0 0.903 on my uh, log scale. And then one of our last examples here, we've got log of 53. And if I move over, move on my cursor to point, I've got 5.1, 2, and 3. Then read off of my L scale at the very top. I show 7.12, so 7.224. So 0.724 is what I've got. And then because we are over 10, we need to add 1 to each uh, log. So that would be 1.724. We actually got that one uh, dead on. If I had log of um, 530, then the same thing would be applicable. I would get 0.724 when I look at this, but my answer would now be 2.724, and so on. The last thing here that I wanted to do is, just like we added one here, if we are less than one, we need to subtract. So 0.125, let me just go ahead and do this on my scale. So I've got 1, 1, 2, 5. So one, point 1, point 2, point 1, 2, 5. And if I look up here on my log scale at the top, I show point nine uh, point nine sorry point zero nine point zero nine uh, two four six seven seven or so so 0 0.097 but I need to subtract one from that so if I go over here just do this. So point zero nine seven, and then subtract one from that, and I have negative nine zero three, or negative point nine zero three. Which, if I take the log of point one two five, then I get negative. 0.903. So again, very close. 
You just have to remember with the logs that you are adding and subtracting depending on uh, what multiple of 10 you are.